That was only a year ago. Remember, actor Jesse Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in jail for faking a hate crime against himself in downtown Chicago. This was, now, that happened back in 2019. Now, Smollett claimed that he was attacked on a freezing January night by two, quote, white supremacists wearing MAGA hats that shouted, this is Trump country, and specifically targeted him because of his race and his sexual orientation. Of course, we now know that all of that was false. Smollett actually hired two of his associates to stage the attack, and they are now telling their story or their side of the story for the first time. In the new Fox Nation special, Anatomy of a Hoax, take a look at this. So we got here with 10 minutes to spare, and we had to plan our escape route to survey the land. His building is actually right here, right above the stairs that we're going to attack him at. We made sure we got there at 2 a.m. sharp. On the dot. On the dot. We had no phones because he did not want us to bring any phones. He said, so we don't lose them. I don't know if that's really the reason. That's him. Is that him? That's that neck. It's that neck. Get that neck. Oh, he's moving fast. Come on, let's get him. Get that neck. Let's get him. As we cross the street, we said hey to get his attention. Hey, neck. Hey. He turned around, looked at us. And that's when we started yelling uh, the famous slurs he wanted us to yell. Hey, aren't you that empire hey, fat nigga? Empire fat nigga. It's MAGA country. Yeah. And then he said, what did you say to me? And then that's when I threw the first punch at him. And then I threw him to the ground. And while after I threw him to the ground, I, he had no bruise. I wanted it to look more real. So then I threw him to the ground. After I threw him to the ground, I used my knuckle and gave him a noogie. So I went like this. Why did I do that? To give him a scar, to give him a mark, to make it look real like he really did get his ass beat. All right, joining us now for their first live TV interview are those two brothers, Ola and Bola Ashundairo, and their attorney, attorney Gloria Rodriguez. Great to see you. Uh, wow. You ever think it would become this big? Uh, no, we did not. <laughs> not in a million years, no, sir. Okay, so this thing begins to get into the public consciousness, and people are rightly, I mean, if that had really happened, I'd be angry. I, I think most people deplore racism. Uh, most people, people deplore uh, people that are anti-gay. Uh, they should mind their own damn business, right. in my view. And so all of a sudden, this is viral and believed. What are you guys thinking? Um, before I allow my brother to answer that question, I just first want to apologize to everyone in the audience, the country, and anyone who might have been affected by this directly. When we were asked to partake in this, we really didn't foresee the ramifications of what something like this could do to the country. You're sorry you participated in it. Yeah, yeah, we, didn't, we allowed our ambition to cloud our judgments. Were you getting paid? Um, it wasn't about the money. Yeah. It was, what was it about for you, then? Um, the opportunity. Opportunity to... We, uh, were, we were actors, so... Jesse we are was, actors. We are actors. And Jesse... <laughs> right. I, and, I'm acting as a talk show host. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to do a hoax to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping one day. Maybe I'll get there. So Jesse was in a position where he could help us, because in the acting world, it's who you know, not what sure. you know. So us helping him out would have helped us out. Yeah. Well, you're the attorney. You take on this case, and it explodes. Um, and you did a great job. By the way, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. Right? Thank you. What was your initial instinct? Because you have clients that might be legal jeopardy here. The whole world is watching. It gets tough in those moments. You know what? Uh, I had been doing these kinds of crisis situations for 10 years um, by the time I had met the brothers. So my immediate thought wasn't, oh, my God, this is a national spotlight case. My immediate thought was, oh, my God, I have two innocent guys here that are being accused of doing this horrific hate crime. Yeah. And so my natural instinct really was to first, unlike a lot of the journalists that were out there, reporting this, my, my instinct was to first get a handle on the facts. And that same night that I met them, I went by myself 
had to cancel my plans with my wife and say, I'm, I'm, I got to go down to the scene of the crime. Right. And I looked around and I just remember thinking, it is dark, it is laid out, and there's nobody out here. Right. It's super safe. It's, th this is ridiculous and, how this would happen. And this particular night, it was freezing. No, no criminal would even want to work that night, right? That, the yeah. night? <laughs> yeah, exactly. On a cold night, you know, <laughs> let's take the night off. I'll get back to work tomorrow night stealing and robbing and killing, you know, especially in Chicago. All right, so you go through this, and everyone, our audience was laughing because some of it's really funny. Maybe you're really good actors. Uh, that's part of it. But there is a sad part of it here because there is this impulse among people that they want to believe the worst in human beings, that, that people are racist and that Trump supporters are, are sexist and racist and homophobic and xenophobic, Islamophobic, transphobic. I mean, as a conservative, I'm called these names all the time. None, none of those allegations are true. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I think he created every man, woman, and child on this earth. So that's where, you know, people are saying, wow, you're demonizing a whole group of people. Have you gotten to know people now that are conservative and, and maybe realize that, wow, that could impact their lives? He hasn't. You, you, you're trying to let your brother cover. <laughs> Not only have we gotten to know people that were like that, our parents are pretty conservative although they are Democrats, but in their thinking, they are conservative. And in turn, we are conservative in a way. Uh, I we have conservative views. We have, yeah, we have conservative views, m more conservative views than uh, liberal views anyway. Yeah. So... And well, Sean, hard I, yeah. R. Hard R, yeah. Republican my whole life, proud of it. Um, yeah. you know, and, you know, some of the local papers, when I, I had ran for a little a lo uh, local election, they were, I had been running as a Republican for over a year, and they were still printing that I was a Democrat, because I'm a Latina, and yeah. I must be, I must be a well, token Democrat. Run, I want to support your campaign, thank so you, come Tom. on this show. Right. Will do. Uh, I'll tell you the best thing. Uh, thank you for coming. I think people need to go to Fox Nation and watch this. It's really interesting. And the best thing that you both said is you apologized. And you know what I saw? Sincerity. Thank you for apologizing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here. You did a great job for that. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.